All right, guys, welcome back to episode 30 of Days Gone. Continuing on with the story, of course. Making sure you guys haven't missed a thing. We couldn't take the risk, a hundred percent. Oh. Remote bomb, nice. Ooh, that's cool. That's Looks nice. Ah, I'm gonna actually use these skill points. Um, yeah, I got four of them. Um, I got all of these except for home run. Significantly increase the damage of both crafted and found melee weapons. Yes, please. That's always a good one. Boot knife. Combos do twice the normal damage. Switch it up. Okay. Increase the chance of critical hit or takedown. Ability to stealth attack. Please. And let's go into different category. Quick reload. Dead shot. Increase the range. Ooh, that's nice. That'll be nice for the shotgun. Uh, quick reload under pressure no longer consume focus when reloading a ranged weapon. Oh, I didn't realize it did that Oh, probably when I'm in the focus, but yeah, okay cool. Let's continue on um, St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up captain? I need you to head back to command. Uh, excuse me The infirmary what's wrong? Oh. I'm on my way. Where's the infirmary? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Yeah, it's not gonna show me. Sarah? Come in, Sarah! Oh, God damn it. Everybody dead? Oh, I can't move all of a sudden. That was weird. Corporal in command. Oh, wait. Didn't hey, mean to buy. How's life? Oh, big spender. Hey. You know it, buddy. Okay, yeah. Every little bit helps, yeah? And I don't need any of these guns. That's a nice... That looks really nice. So I'm just gonna buy oh, it yeah, just because, but I don't want to use it. I'll just buy all of them just because. Hey, be careful with that one. We'll shoot your eye out. Just exercising your Second Amendment rights, am I right? And primary... I want my shotgun st oh I didn't equip it my shotgun still sidearm we're gonna go with this guy and my 50 BMG or BFG whatever okay it's not too far we can walk there let's go All right. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Got yeah. You? What's happened? Doctor Jimenez has been murdered. Oh. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ! Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. This one's on me. Taylor did I it. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You win? It doesn't matter. Anymore. Man, maybe I shouldn't have let him live. If he died, this wouldn't have happened. Huh. Well, that's something. 
And yeah, me and the girl went into here the last episode, so I can go into here and grab this stuff now. Me and the girl, me and Sarah. Or Sarah and I, if I want proper English. Ugh. I'm tired. Even though it's like 10 a.m. This day, as the sun sets on this island, it also sets on the life of a great man. Captain Arturo Jimenez. I'm gonna turn my Don fan off. Or it's on the lowest setting. On the eve of our great Captain Jimenez was murdered. Slaughtered. His life ripped from him. His blood, even now, soaks the tent where he toiled, hour after hour. Ten oh, I can't. Are sick, are injured, are wounded. The great tragedy here is not that a good man needlessly lost his life. Though for that, I am indeed very sorry. The great tragedy here is that he could not be replaced. Dr. Jimenez was the only trained physician in our ranks. Perhaps... In all the world. Yeah. My eyes have been opened. Okay. I see now the great mistake we have made. We have My audio disconnected for a second. Seeds and discs. Medical journals, medical books, and encyclopedia we have in state. But who now? Will teach us how to use them. Journals can be replaced. Books and encyclopedia can be replaced. Dr. Jimenez, our only doctor, cannot be replaced. Why not? We go now to the grave of God. As you just do the same. Got to be dismissed. Why can't he be replaced? And why didn't I salute? I feel like I should have. Okay, I just want to double check I'm recording. I totally was. Sometimes I just get paranoid and think I'm not. Ugh, excuse me. So where to? Uh, what's this? Just checking in, ride to at, at whatever peak ra radio tower. I can do that. Oh, I needed to turn there. Kind of expecting a radio. Is that a breaker? Several patrols have already been sent out. Colonel's furious. Yeah, I'll bet. It totally is. Captain Jimenez. Oh, I didn't do anything to him. <laughs> I was hoping me hitting him with my bike would have done something. <laughs> Sorry. I even used my boost. You mentioned something about heading up to the ski lodge and then go there and see Of course he does. Copy that. Send John out. Fair trials, right? We're doing that thing. Oh shit, I even saw it. That shouldn't have happened. I don't see anybody. Oh no, now I do. Oh shit, hi, you're close. Fucked hearts. 
I'm not wearing armor. Oh, fuck! What the fuck? I did not expect that. Holy shit, guys. I'll take that. There's a breaker or something, isn't there? Oh, just a normal guy. Um, oh, I need scrap. Shit. Okay. Corporal St. John, report to me at command. Seriously, Corporal bro? Garrett. Yes, sir. I'll be right there. Corporal St. John out. Wait, so where am I going? To command? Oh, those are more just things. Um, yeah. So this is where he wants me? Yeah, that's... So I'm going to hit this up first. Repair engine with the little scrap I have. Shit, bud. Oh. It's been a while, Copeland. Really? Guys. An NGO that wants North America, Western Europe, and Japan to, quote, foster cooperation, unquote. Yeah, they fostered something. You know they picked the places they could have first. But someone betrayed America. And don't think I'm giving the United Nations a walk here either. They've been giving terrorist nations a seat at the table for years. Could be. Is out there running just fine without us. And one of our former friends has a seat on the Security Council. Think about it. Nero's got a clear hand in this. But they need a lot of help to start this war. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. I thought we couldn't hear Who Copeland knows, up Cope, here. Maybe you're right for a change. If you had any idea what they were cooking up inside Cloverdale in your goddamn backyard. You'd have a heart attack. What the hell happened here? Uh, Whoops. Wonder if they left anything worth the effort. Yeah, I thought we couldn't hear Copeland up here, but whatever. I guess we can. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Get the damn thing. Yeah, fill up the bike. Alright, now let's go. Alright. I don't like caves. Especially in zombie games. <laughs> Like, the cave is just the dumbest place to be in. Especially with a loud bike. Oh, I need a radio boozer. I thought I was checking for the other guy here. I'll take that. A saw blade. Kerosene, some more kerosene, and a bottle. Kerosene seems to be like the number one thing I need. Man, those noises, that screecher out there. Or I assume it's a screecher out there. I like this guy. Looks dope. 
But I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Can we radio him just in the other episode? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I. It's good to hear from you again, brother. I thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm is just, it? I'm just sort of checking in, see how, uh, how everything's going. Good, good, Dick. Things are going good. You'll never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? <laughs> we already knew it. that. Guess you figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. I want to jump off. Yeah, like I said, I just, just want to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, me too. We already knew he was the fucking head of security, though. Okay. Yeah, time to go on, meet the the captain again, or whatever, corporal. I don't fucking know. I don't understand rakings in the military. That's why I didn't stay in it. That's not why. <laughs> and I wasn't in the military. <laughs> I was in air cadets as a fucking kid. That was it. I didn't stay in it mainly just because my parents forced me to do it. Anything I was forced to do, I didn't fucking do. Even though after a little while in it, I even started to like it, but I decided not to do it. Because I was being told to. Even thinking now though, I've even thought about joining the military or something. The reserves. I mean... We are in Canada. We're the peacekeepers, we're not war starters. That'll be fun. A napalm Molotov, or whatever he was saying. If you guys wonder what I drink in my videos and why I'm burping all the fucking time, it's because of these delicious fucking rock stars. They're, um, I love the killer black cherry. It's delicious. And the cans are pretty cool too. He's probably freezing to death, honestly. I heard a gunshot, I think. Oh, a newt. We're playing follow the newt and steal all the beer bottles along the way. Wow, we really are following the new. Oh shit, sniper! I gotta find a way inside. Hehe. <laughs> I like dealing with snipers. Fuck out of my way. Anybody else? Yeah. There we go. So Taylor, or whatever the guy's name was, he was working for a different group, I guess. Is that what this is? Oh, 
Oh, I got both of them. Fuck yeah. That sucked. I don't think there's any more humans. Oh, no, there are. Oh, wait, yeah, I didn't shoot the last guy. Got him. I didn't kill him, but got him. There. Finally. Jesus. What's in here? Is this what I was... Oh, it's an airbag. What do I need an airbag for? Of course it's locked. I'll take that. I heard somebody. I'm not hiding, you're the one hiding. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, let's settle this, you fucked hard. Is that Taylor? Ooh, wait. Oh, I have to be inside. Fuck. This is not gonna open. I thought thought this side was the front. I'm an idiot. Man, I'm already like 22 minutes in this video. Holy crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> Feel like I haven't done anything. Oh, that's Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... <laughs> Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. Yeah, that's that's a pretty brutal thing. You, you kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself, all those fucks standing at attention, and they're laughing at you. Man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to. Wanna... You're not wrong about the you shit yourself part, because when you die, you your body releases your bowels. What is he doing? Gonna give him an overdose or something? <laughs> uh oh. In his neck or something?
I need to sneeze again. Fuck. I don't care what a man has done. Leave him to the freaks. Respect. I'm telling you right now, Colonel's not going to be happy about this. Of course not. See, I respect that. That like, no, don't leave anybody for the freaks. But at the same time. If I'm biking through somewhere and somebody just knocked me off my bike and I shot them up and I left, I'm going to leave. I am not going to worry about that because, one, I'm busy. I didn't come here to kill them. They they pissed me off. <laughs> if I came there with the intentions of doing something, then yes. <sighs> This game is the longest series I have on my channel. But it's definitely not going to stay that way. Because, I mean, I've got a game I'm going to play. It's a it's a kid's game, I guess. The Nino Kuni. Fucking, mm, I love Studio Ghibli. So that should be fun. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflow. There's a motorbike outside. Soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. I want my ring back, buddy. Every time I see it on his finger, it bothers me. The mongrel's ring. Oh, excuse me. I unlocked something? What did I unlock? It said custom skin. Inventory? Gear? No. Maybe it isn't? No. Huh, weird. I don't know. But, um, what we can do is go see the mechanic. See if this guy has anything for me. Deke. Hey, man. I saw you right and, yeah. Right? How did that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? It's Deke. Uh, Corporal. So um, so where am I going? I'm here. That's a, I don't see any other missions yet so doing this marauder camp colonel you asked to see me corporal yes yes i did captain curry says that you've been helpful dealing with marauders in the area fuck yeah doing my duty sir a curious group of drifters have been spotted moving down highway 97 Evidently, they came over the Tielsen Pass, which I thought to be impassable. Our patrol reported that they were scarred. Letters oh. R.I.P. carved into their foreheads. Have you ever heard of anything like this? No, A ripper. sir. Sounds like, sounds like another cult, like uh, the anarchists. Perhaps. Regardless, I want you to track them down and Why deal say them. no? Why not tell them the truth? I don't need another cult springing up in our backyard. No, sir. Last thing we need is another crazy cult. I've marked their last known position on your map. Dismissed, Corporal. See, I can't wait for the day. Everybody has a map. <laughs> you mark positions on your map. Where's my bike at? <laughs> Just walk up to like your boss. I marked your position on your map. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Ooh. Okay, um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. Okay, so that's not here though, right? That's up here? Maybe? Right? Oh no, it is in here. Should we go here for it? Yeah, the other one's not a 
quest mission really or like a story mission so let's do the story missions go talk to Sarah Whitaker Whitaker that's a cool name I like that <clears throat> excuse me I don't get why they do that sometimes. Kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What's that? A trank gun? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I am so close, Deacon. This could be it. That's mine. All right. I'm right okay, here. I was just heading out to find you a newt. A new. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh. Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kid. Newts. Okay. okay. So radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. All right. Uh, colony of newts. Oh, my God. This I gotta see. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna take out. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Korea. Ooh. That'll be fun. Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. I mean, if I strictly help her out and say Sarah, fuck it to the others. A female. Okay, can I shoot the rest? Oh wait, no, I need. Yeah, tranquilizer. Don't need you guys around. Oh, I'm not supposed to kill the rest. Ooh, bandages. Yeah, I'll take all of them out if I need to. I don't give two fucks. Is this a female with a red shirt? Oh, didn't mean to shoot. None of you are females. Ah, there's the red shirt. Good thing I didn't hit her. Got you, little shit. Jesus. Down you go. Who else? I like fucking beating up kids who are you duh. <laughs> Hope I'll get away with it. Oh the do da day. Hey <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure that's like off of fucking family guy or some shit. <laughs> Hope I get away with it, do da do. That's it. My headset keeps disconnecting. It's a pain, my headset. I don't know. Nothing I can really do, but... Whatever. Time to do some sketchy shit. Do -da -do. That was it. That's it. It was a TikTok. Hope I get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little messed up if I start singing. I like beating up little kids. <laughs> uh, it's a game. They're infected. They're zombies. Or freaks. Or both. It's a rabies like um, disease. Which makes them hungry for flesh and want to bite. And agitated at all times. 
Which me and my dad had a talk ages ago about zombies and that, and if it were to happen, it would be a disease like rabies kind of thing. What? Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, the colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, lieutenant needed a live test subject. You two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. Okay, professional. The colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. All men. <laughs> Can't have any of that, sir. As he watched you kiss her, so, um... This is, it's been a while since I started this game. Like, it is Jul July, is it? Yeah, July 29th right now. Why not just shoot her with the tranquilizer again? We could shoot her again. What happened? Knock her out, kill her. She wasn't trying to kill him. Yeah, you probably still could for the people alive. That's Everything the thing. That I have worked on is for nothing. But people who has been infected for two plus years. Yeah, of course you can't. Just think logically. They wouldn't live properly if you could. They couldn't live. They've been mal malnourished and That's fucked up and in the du and in the environment. Seeing what just happened, every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't play. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It once occurred to me, you know what? There used to be someone's kid. You know, I mean, this girl once, when she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do, she used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at him the same way you do. So you think I'm No, no. No, I used to. the night that I left you on that chopper it was the next night me and Boozer we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at right except there's freakers everywhere the choppers are on fire there's people screaming something and so we fought and we won and what did we get bodies bodies everywhere I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one that was that night. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's... He's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky, and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find her. We're going to ride away. We're never going to look back. Because I don't want to be part of some militia. I don't want to fight no war. And I don't want to live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this. Seeing how hard you work. Seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive and hang on. Trying to save a guy. 
Not doing a very good job of this, so you give up. Dust yourself off. And then try it again. We're going back to play the game. Make a better equipment and dig into their research team. Literally started fucking crying. Yeah. It would help me. This shit's sad. I love Deacon and this chick and Sarah. Tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. We know if they catch us, they will hang us. That's fine. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah. Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Thank you. Um. I still have a few quests I can do here though. <laughs> Kinda wanted to do those. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. I want my ring. It's always in the loading screen, and it's at the beginning of the game. Like, it's Are important. Ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Fuck yeah. Something wrong? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Era. Carry on. It's not era. Lieutenant it's Lieutenant. era. It's me. Yes, sir. Who the fuck says era? It doesn't start with an ear. It starts with an air. Like an era of a throne. The new air. The new era. Like, fuck. <laughs> Unless I'm just the stupid one and us Canadians pronounce things weird. Honestly, I don't care either way. We know what we mean. <laughs> That's the main part. Everybody fucking understands. I'm not going to have time to do this on this episode. Come on. This is not taking... Like, this is taking so long. <sighs> Shitty little loading screens. You should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. I've done it already. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. That's how I did it. <laughs> so, uh, slow them down, maybe. Set a few traps. And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there, and it's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. You stay yeah. Up here. You keep an eye on me. Shit goes south. You ride in there, you get me up there. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got enough. <laughs> The way they. Good, good. Uh, shit's gonna come in handy. The way they fucking um grab their guns and that make it look like they're so light when you know a gun's not that but damn light. Like I said, find a way to slow them down. The sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. If I can find a narrow space between trucks, buildings, whatever, it'll take them a while to get through. All so right, guys. Good luck, 
St. John. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm actually gonna end this episode here, guys. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But I'll see you guys next time for episode 31 of Days. Gone. <laughs>